Hey there, creepy peeps. Welcome to a very short, spoiler-free review of Halloween Ends. For anybody who just needs a quick, should I watch it or should I not watch it, review. So Halloween Ends is the third installment in the Halloween trilogy directed by David Gordon Green. This one takes place four years after the events of Halloween 2018 and Halloween Kills. Lori has decided to liberate herself from fear and rage and embrace life, but when a young man is accused of killing a boy he was babysitting, it ignites a cascade of violence and terror that will force Lori to finally confront the evil she can't control once and for all. Just for some quick context, in case anyone is new here, I'm not a big fan of the Halloween franchise. I like the first one and I like the third one and I feel like that should tell you everything you need to know <laughs> about me and my relationship to the Halloween movies. I also like Halloween H20 because that was the first one I ever saw. Again, should tell you everything you need to know. <laughs> That's important context for maybe what I'm about to say. I did not like Halloween ends. <laughs> they tried something different which I can, I can appreciate and respect. I like Halloween 3, okay? I can respect trying something different. I just think it was an odd choice for the final movie in a trilogy, that's all. Halloween Kills was so big and it was like loud and you know, like the whole town was involved, there was mobs. A lot of, a lot of big action happening in Halloween Kills and N was very like introspective and quiet almost in comparison. It was just very odd for like an ending. So instead of like going out with a bang, it felt like the movie just kind of like slowly fizzled out. That's what it felt like. I think the storyline that they went with, with uh, this character, Corey, who's the, the young man I mentioned in the summary, I think it was an interesting exploration given Halloween Kills, which got the town more involved and the town's reaction to all the events that have happened regarding Michael Myers and Laurie Strode, right? So we have this idea of the townspeople, you know, villainizing this boy kind of similarly to how they villainize Michael Myers because of what he's done. It was all interesting concepts to explore. I just think it should have been earlier in the trilogy, that's all. <laughs> I also felt like they rushed some character development a little bit because they introduced this new character, Corey in the, the final film here, and he plays a huge part in the movie. I was, I was very confused. I, I think the overwhelming emotion I felt during this movie was confusion and exhaustion. <laughs> I think the movie was aptly named because the majority of the time I was watching it, I just wanted it to end. I'll say the last 10 to 15 minutes were probably the best part of the movie. It in no way redeemed the rest of the movie but it was just the best part. When you see it, you'll know why. <laughs> but overall, will not be watching this again. Really just gonna try and forget that I saw it. Take that as you will. Again, not a huge fan of the franchise. It's been very interesting though to see everybody's reaction to this movie, whether they're a big fan of Halloween or not. I feel like the internet's having a little bit of a meltdown over it. So if you end up going to see the movie after this, come back and let me know what you thought. I'm not gonna be posting a full length review with spoilers of this because it's literally just gonna be me ranting about the movie. And whenever I talk about the Halloween franchise, whether it's something like positive or negative, there's going to be a group of people that come and just destroy my comment section with idiocy. <laughs> so I won't be doing a full spoiler filled review of this one, but let me know what you think of the shorter content and I will see you guys real soon. Stay strange. Bye.